Hello friends, welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture anatomy. And today's topic of discussion is the blood supply of pancreas. Okay. So let's talk briefly and before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friend. Okay. Let me draw a pancreas. Okay. So and this is what you call duodenum right this is a duodenum right and this is pancreas okay so now let's start and here it comes a posterior part and we have an one as an organ that is a spleen right okay guys now let's start with the blood supply of the pancreas first let me draw over here and the most important part of iota that's a celiac trunk celiac trunk okay guys from the celiac trunk okay the two arteries that take a branch for important for what you call for pancreas I'm talking about the lot of arteries that uh, branch from uh, take a branch from the celiac trunk okay one is goes this way to the spleen that's why known as a splenic artery splenic artery okay and there's another artery that goes and divides into two okay one is known as a hepatic artery that goes to the what you call liver and this is hepatic artery okay this is hepatic artery and the other one over here here I'm talking about and this is the second branch okay and this is known as the artery gastroduodenal artery gastroduodenal artery okay and this gastroduodenal artery divides into two branches one goes behind let me draw with a dot okay and the one goes superiorly here and it gives branches over here okay so this is known as anterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery which is anterior okay anterior I will write together and this is known as a posterior the anterior posterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery got it the head is supplied by the two arteries one is the anterior uh, two arteries which are those that are anterior posterior and anterior anterior and the posterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery remember and this artery is what you call a uh, what you call a, a branch from these arteries are branches from gastroduodenal artery the gastroduodenal artery arises from the celiac trunk right the celiac trunk that goes a straight artery that divides into two branches one the hepatic artery and the gastroduodenal artery hepatic artery goes to the liver gastroduodenal artery continues and gives two branches one is anterior and the posterior and that is known as the anterior posterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery respectively okay guys and the splenic artery gives branches and supplies the posterior part known as caudal and okay here now let's talk about the superior mesenteric artery that gives that starts from below. Superior mesenteric artery. From the superior mesenteric artery, there is a branch, and the artery arises, and it gives the two branches known as anterior, posterior, inferior, pancreatico duodenal artery. If it goes like this, okay and this goes behind 
okay this is together known as anterior and posterior inferior pancreatico duodenal artery pda pancreatico duodenal artery okay and there is a small branch that arises from the splenic artery known as a dorsal pancreatic artery dorsal and it goes behind dorsal pancreatic artery okay guys dorsal pancreatic artery and there are small branches that run behind the what do you call the posterior part of the pancreas that arises from the dorsal pancreatic artery and connects to the caudal part of this splenic artery posteriorly and very minute branches transverse pancreatic artery they are called as the transverse pancreatic artery okay okay guys so i think you got an idea so thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video is helpful for you and it is a very important topic for surgeons even for medical students and for usmle step on exam for prospective students thank you so much for watching this video take care